Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello, Jose. Welcome. Anna, hello, how are you? How are you today? Okay. Fine, and you? Fine. I'm fine, thank you, Anna. I'm very good. <laughs> and Lillian, hello, Lillian. How are you, Lillian? How are you today? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good. Now let's start immediately because this class, we have a lot of material to cover, right? Today. So let's start with the PowerPoint presentation for today. Okay. Here we go. Okay, today we're going to learn about places and things, right? Places and things. Pronunciation for compound nouns. And the prepositions of place. In, on, and at, right? In, on, and at. The lesson objective, please, Anna, can you read the lesson objective for me, please? Can you read? Is, is this lesson participant will listen conversation about, eh, es que no veo bien el final en la pantalla. Eh, about demonstratives. Demonstrative, demonstrative while shopping. Good, demonstratives are these, that, those, these, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Now, let's just start with uh, the vocabulary, right? Neighborhood, earrings, necklace or necklace, get it, present, Not only that, right? So, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Neighborhood. Earrings. Necklace. Neighbor. Earring. Necklace. Get it. Present. Present is a gift, right? Gift, present, right? So, do you have any question about vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh, I have one. Tell me. Na neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay, listen. I will explain totally in English, right? First. Yes, in that. Oh, no, come on, Anna. <laughs> okay, good. No problem, Anna. I was explaining in, in, in English, but you say in Spanish, that's okay. No problem. Vecindario, right? Vecindario. Okay, and listen, neighbor is vecino, right? Vecino. And neighborhood is vecindario, right? Good. So, for example, Thanks. Jose, what is the name of your neighbor? What is the name of your neighbor? San Luis. No, 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 no. Your neighbor, neighbor. The person who lives next to you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Don Julio, Niña Juana. I don't know, teacher. You don't know. <laughs> I don't remember your, your name. You don't know the name. Okay, good. But that's neighbor. Yeah, and exactly. all the place, urbanización, los conacastes, eh, caserío, el pepeto, mm, uh, yes. colonia, colonia Los Santos, colonia Silvestre, etc. Cetera, et cetera. That's a neighborhood, right? Okay. okay. Good. Now, any other question? Questions? Look, ear means... No question, teacher. No question. Thank you, Anna. No question. Now, ear is this, right? Ear. 
And ring is this, right? Look, this is my ring. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, ring. So this is a ring for the ear. Ring for the ear, so earring. Anillo para la oreja, right? Anillo para la oreja. Earring. That we say in Spanish, aritos, right? Okay. Good. And neck, this is the neck. The neck, right? Neck. And lace is lazo. Lazo para el cuello, right? Necklace. That is cadena o, o, o collar, right? <laughs> okay. Good. Now, let's go to the conversation, please. Listen. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? Mm, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. And Steve said, well, that ne necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Right? Like you say, aquí yo soy el pistudo. Déjame comprarlo. Right? Okay. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay? Now, please, repeat after me. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, good. Do you have any question? Question about vocabulary? Okay, now, so I need some students to practice, right? Let me ask. Let me ask some students. Oscar, please, can you help me today with this conversation, Oscar? You're going to be Steve. Well, like, like in El Salvador, we say eh, Steve, right? <laughs> but, <It's> Steve. Eh, Steve. <laughs> eh, Steve, any? <laughs> So no, in, in English <laughs> it's Steve, right? You're going to be Steve. And Vanessa, help me, Vanessa, you're going to be Maria. Maria, you gotta okay. see her. One, two, three. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Okay, wait, wait, Oscar, perfect Oscar, for Oscar, you. Oscar, wait, 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 wait. Remember, Oscar, you're an actor, right? You're an actor. Uh, and then the actors show, you know, like um, you are uh, feeling the, 
the play, right? You're feeling the role and you say, oh, wow. exaggeration, you know, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Huh? Understand? Okay, now again, okay. one, two, three. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. That is perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Mm, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace is bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much it is? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Vanessa, right? No, it's not your birthday. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, thank okay. you, Vanessa, and thank you, Oscar. You're good actors, right? Now, Ricardo, okay. help me. Help me, Ricardo. You and Ricardo and... Let me teach you. Uh, who? Ricardo and... Hello, teacher. Okay, uh-huh. Uh, anybody? Let me see. Que andamos buscando por aquí, Ricardo, en... En... Grisel, please. Hello, Grisel. Hello, Grisel. Okay. Hello. Now, uh, Richard, you're going to be Steve, right? And okay. Grisel, Grisel, you're going to be Maria. But wait. Remember oh. what I say. Remember what I say. You are actors. So oh. you feel, right? Okay. And for that, that, for that, I will show you, right? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Action. Oh, look at these earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Will? That neat lace is, isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How um, much is it? It's 40, $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okie dokie, congratulations, right? Remember, Richard is the Thank pistudo you. here, right? The pistudo because it says, no problem. $100, $100. come on, excuse me. No problem, right? It's your birthday present, right? Okay, thank you now. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Now uh, we're going to make the last conversation. Let me see. Anna, hello, Anna. You're going to be Maria. You are not Anna Menjivar, you are Maria Menjivar. <laughs> no, you're going to be Maria, Anna. And Jose, Jose, you're going to be Steve, Steve, right? Ready? Ready, Anna? Ready. Okay, uh, Jose, teacher. Jose Guadrón, sorry. Uh, ya tenemos uh, Jose Eliseo. No sé, teacher, pero sé que está en clase. Okay. Sorry. So I will, I will always say Mr. Guadron, right? Mr. Guadron. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> uh, Anna and Mr. Guadron, sorry. One, two, three. Action. Oh, at those airing, Maria, they're perfect for you. This red one, I am not sure. I'm not sure. No, no the yellow one. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for, color for me. 
well does necklace is not bad which one the blue one right there how much is it's uh, 42 dollar that's expensive hey let get me for you it's your birthday present happy birthday maria oh <laughs> Otro pistudo, otro pistudo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, we're going to go to the, the next part, right? Let's go to the next part. And uh, the lesson objective. Let me see who's going to help me reading. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, ¿Qué se había hecho, Marvin? The work. I know. It's I very know, hard. <laughs> Okay, but welcome. Listen, Marvin, can you read the, the objective for me, please? Okay. 3.2 lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, this, that, does. To express, to express possible choice. Okie dokie. Thank you. A possible choices. In this case is options. 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 Option, yes. Well, in the conversation, you, you were uh, listening, right? Some examples. Look, uh, those earrings, right? The red ones, the yellow ones, right? And then you say, which one? And then you see, so we use this vocabulary. Now, we're going to use it in the context, right? Demonstratives, one and one, right? This, when do you use this? Use this with things that are singular and that are near you, right? Singular, near. Singular y que esté cerca de usted. For example, I can say... Uh, mm, this eraser, right? This is an eraser. This eraser. Why? Because it's only one and it's near me, right? Está cerca de mí. This. Okay, now please repeat. Use this. Teacher. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no. This, this uh, uh, is, is torch. Uh, possible you can touch, right? Possible you can touch. Okay. Okay, it's next to your hand. Normalmente está al alcance de su mano y usted lo puede tocar, right? Okay. You the eraser, you can touch. Okay, etc. right? Eso sí, que si anda en el mercado y ve los tomates, no los toque porque las señoras se enojan, ¿sí? Pero usted diga this, this, está cerca, right? Okay, good, this. Now, everybody, repeat after me, please. Use this with things. Use this with things. That are singular. That are singular. And that are near you. And that are near you. Okie dokie now. For example, this card. This pencil. Good. Now, uh... Puedes repetir la pronunciación de, de, de cerca. Ah, near. 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 Near, yes. Close, right? You can also say close to you. Close. Close to you, near you. Okay, now. Uh, Oscar, can you give me one example? One object that you have ar around you in your house, Oscar? Uh, computer. Okay. This, this, this uh, computer, computer. Okay, this computer, right? Okay. Ah, this computer, this you computer. Can, you can touch, right? You can touch. Now, that. Use that with things that are singular and that are far from you. Far. They are singular but they are not near, they're not close, they are far, right? 
For example, can you look my calendar over there? There is a calendar on the wall. So it is that calendar because it's not near me. It's not close. It's far from me, far from me, right? The calendar is uh, at the corner. There is a bicycle from my daughter. So you say uh, that bicycle, right? La traducción de far, near, es cerca, y far sería the sobre. Lejos. 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 Lejos, right? For example, uh, Mexico is far from, from El Salvador, right? Um, Conchagua Volcano is far from San Salvador, right? Okay. Real Madrid is far to be champion. Real Madrid está lejos de ser campeón, right? Okay, it's one example. It's a true. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Any comments? It's a true. <laughs> it's a hard true. <laughs> okay, good. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. So again, near is close to you, cerca de usted, right? And far is lejos, right? Good. Now repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. Use that with. Use me. that. Use that with things that are singular and that are far from you. Example, right? That park over there, right? Ese parque que está por ahí. That park over there. That tree. Just give me a second. That tree in the forest, right? That tree in the forest. Good. Any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? No. Okay, let's continue. And notice the pronunciation of this is with S. So you say this, right? With S. Now let's go to the next ones. Una, tengo una pregunta. Yes, Oscar. Este, eh, me cuesta mucho preguntar en inglés, pero, pero este, no, come on. No eh, en, en relación a la, a la primera palabra que es this, uh -huh. eh, pero la respuesta es bien puntual, ¿verdad? la computadora, el carro, el uh -huh. pencil, el the bicycle, eh, uh -huh. pero hasta ahí, porque en la otra ya nos referimos y, y sí se entiende también por el complemento de, de, de la oración que está más lejos. Está Yo por ahí, está en el bosque, está en el volcán. Eh, el rumbo. Uh -huh. Así debería, o sea, esa es como la regla. Eh, lo que pasa es que como eh, no vemos el contexto, Oscar, digamos, no, no vemos si la persona está cerca o está lejos, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo lo sabemos por, por cómo la persona lo dice. Entonces, eh, pero normalmente en una oración, eh, un libro, una canción o cualquier cosa que usted vea en inglés, eh, sí va a haber alguna referencia que indique que la cosa está lejos, ¿verdad? Y, uh, por ejemplo, hay una canción que diga, eh, that woman, por ejemplo, that woman, over there, esa mujer que está ahí, right? Eh, que, me, que me causó dolor. Ajá. Ok, como dicen las canciones, ¿verdad? Entonces ya se entiende que la, la persona está lejos, right? O this okay. woman, right? And then you say this woman. Normalmente, está cerca. Ajá, normalmente cuando usted dice this, eh, no necesita decir otra palabra, ¿verdad? Pero cuando dice that, tiene que indicar, ¿verdad? Algo que, que diga, ah, está lejos. Agregar información o un complemento. Podría ser para ubicar al lector. Pero okay. obviamente si usted está enfrente de alguien hablando, pues, y los dos están lejos de algo, obviamente es lógico que está lejos. The, the, the car in the street. Ajá, uh -huh, por ejemplo, the car on, on the street, right? On the street. Good. Uh, so you say that car, that car, right? Uh, or if you're driving, uh, uh, you say you're driving. You say this car, this car, right? Understand? It depends on the context, right? Okay. okay. Good. Now let's okay. go to the next one. These. Now in this case, is the same pronunciation but with these. The the first one is this, and this one is these right use these with things that are plural and that are near you plural 
near you. Repeat after me, please. Use these with things that are plural and that are near you. For example, these cars, these pencils, those. Use those with things that are plural and that are far from you. Those parks over there, those trees in the forest, right? Good, now please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Use those with things that are plural and that are far from you. Good, now we have the four demonstrative, right? We have these, that, these, and those, right? The four demonstratives. Any questions so far? No questions? <laughs> Hello, that's your son, right, Oscar? <laughs> now it's bigger, right? Ya está, ya, ya está más grandecito, Oscar. Sí, me tienen monitoreado. Estoy en inglés los sábados también. Ah, good. La misma so modalidad. Okay. Pero sí, me, me, me han sacado ventaja. Ah, ok. Ya, ya le van ganando. Ya van por otro nivel. <laughs> But you can practice, eh, Oscar. You can practice with them, right? Sí. Watch sí, si no, me ponen, <laughs> si no me ponen las pilas. You así boy, como en Madrid, se van a quedar atrás. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Sorry. Richard, usted no escuchó eso, Richard. Ok. Good. <laughs> Okay, listen, uh, but uh, Oscar, you can practice watching movies, watching videos, right? Listen to music, okay? Uh, for example, I'm sending uh, some videos every day. For example, today I send a listen, an exercise about, uh, uh, what was the video? It was about the places, right? Some places. Uh -huh. So you can practice in the WhatsApp group. I send a video every day, so you can practice. 15 minutes every day. Look, practice, 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 right? Listen to the video, watch the video, and again, and again, and again, right? So to practice. And then you will win to your son. Le va a ganar a sus hijos, se hace eso, Oscar. Okay, good. Now let's continue. Now we're going to, uh, to describe what is one and ones, right? One and ones. When you are talking about countable things, We can use one or once if it is clear what we're talking about, right? Si estamos platicando de cosas que podemos contar, right? Y, y ya saben ustedes, y yo también lo sé, que es eso de que estamos hablando. So you can use one for singular and once for plural, right? So for example, I say, mm, uh, my pencil is, is black, right? Yes. That one is black. So, because I know I'm talking about a pencil, like in for a second sentence, para una segunda oración, I can use one, right? Or if it is plural, so I can say once, okay? Good. To avoid repeating yourself, you can use one when you're talking about a singular countable noun, right? Para repetir, evitar la repetición, el... Eh, en español creo que se llama cacofonía, right? Ajá, es repetir lo mismo varias veces. So, in this case, you can use one, right? One. One is a substitution of a singular countable noun, right? And then we have ones when you're talking about a plural countable noun. One is for singular. Ones is for plural. So, we use one and ones to refer to something we already know, right? Para hablar de algo que ya sabemos de que estamos hablando, okay? Good, any question? Good, now we're going to make yeah. abstract. Uh -huh. Yes? Ex example? Examples. Sí. In this example. moment, right okay. now, I have an example. Look, practice. Okay. The bag, this bag is very old. I need a new one or once? 
One. 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 One, right? Because it's singular. Esta cartera ya está bien viejita, right? Vamos al mismo tema de los zapatos, ¿verdad? Siempre. Por ahí veo un montón de carteras en mi casa, ¿verdad? Pero siempre necesita una nueva, ¿verdad? La mía tiene un montón de años de la enseñar, ¿ok? I don't need, but women say, I need a new one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girls. Okay, now, next one. Small pineapples, pineapples, sorry, are sweeter than the big one or ones? Ones. Correct. Ones. Very good. Ones. Big ones, okay? Las piñas pequeñas son más dulcitas que las grandes, dice. I don't know. Yo no sé de, de cultivo, pero they say it's, it's true, right? Big ones. Okay. Number three. The new smartphones are much faster than the old. Ones. Ones. Right? You have everything here, right? Tenemos todo aquí. Yes. Calendar, calculator, thermometer, uh, weather report, a telephone, agenda. GPS. Every, GPS, GPS. Uh, Waze, uh, GPS. You have everything on the telephone, right? Uh, the newspaper, the radio, the television, <laughs> everything is here, right? Okay. So, smartphones are faster than the old one. Remember the old ones? Recuerda los ladrillotes? <laughs> Solo me recuerdo un catedrático de la universidad, la que llegaba con su gran celular aquí, right? Como un ladrillo así. <laughs> Those. Como Motorola. Ah, uh -huh, yes. The old ones, the old ones, because the I know Nokia. I'm talking about, uh -huh, the Nokia, the, the Nokia, they were good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's Guerreros. They were, they were worried, right? So then the old ones, the old ones, when I say ones, I refer to the telephone, right? Good, next one. Which is your car? The black? One. One. One or the One. white? The white? The white. One. 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 Correct. No, ones, no. One. One. Teacher, uh -huh. it's one or one. 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 Like the number. One. Like the number. One. One, two, La three. Pronunciación. One. Like the number. One. One, two, one. three. Uh, one. 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 Okay. Don't, don't say one, 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 right? <laughs> the tip of the tongue must be up, right? La puntita one. de la lengua tiene que estar arriba, tocando el paladar. One, 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 one. one. Huh? one. Incorrect. One, eh. incorrect. One, mm -mm. no, it's one. One, one, Cling. one, one, okay? one. Good. Now let's go to the number five. She needs new shoes. The old ones. Ones are ones. Now, ones. Right? ones. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a ones free. One ones free. Ones. One. 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 free. One. 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 Una es la primera, otra es la segunda y, y otra es la tercera. So only, only one, but solo una es la tercera, right? So it's a third one, a third one, okay? Good, now let's write. Yes. Vamos a escribirlo, okay? This bag is very old, I need a new one. Please, repeat after me. This bag is This very bag. old. I this need, bag is very old. I need a new one. I need a new one. Small pineapples are sweeter than the big ones. Are sweeter than big ones. The new smartphones are much faster than the old ones. Which is your car? The black one? 
or the white one. She needs new shoes. The old ones are too small. If you buy two bowls of water, you get a third one free. Black Friday, right? <laughs> si compran dos botellas, la tercera es gratis, right? Good. Any question? Any questions so far? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Grisel, tell me. When you translate once, what is the meaning in Spanish of the sentence? Uh, well, it depends, right? It depends on what you're talking about. For example, if I talk about shoes. For, for the uh, sentences. For example, or? when I say shoes, right? So you say, the old ones means los zapatos viejos, right? Or you simply say, los viejos. Right? Let's translate this sentence, Grisel. Look, she needs new shoes, the old ones are too small. Creo que en español no, no nos complicamos mucho para, para decir esto. Vamos a ver. Ella necesita zapatos nuevos. Los viejos están, son demasiado pequeños ya, ya no le quedan. Los viejos. So in, okay, in Spanish, okay. Yo creo que en español el artículo es el que transformamos, ¿verdad? Los, las... Ah, okay, okay. El, okay. I okay. understand. Do you understand? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Because Grisel, remember the translation is another piece, right? La traducción es otro piece, aparte, verdad? Que hay que. Eh, por cierto, en la Universidad de El Salvador hay una carrera que se llama solo es de traducción, ¿verdad? solo es de traducir, right? Es una habilidad especial. Okay. Good. That's it, right? Now, eh, o, o de otro ejemplo, vamos a hacer otro ejemplo a Grisel. Yo sé que entendió, pero vamos a hacer otro ejemplo aquí. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a third one free. Si usted compra dos botellas de agua, la tercera, la, la tercera, right? Es gratis, la tercera. Oh, okay. Ajá. So, eh, eso que ellos usan como one ones, nosotros lo decimos en el artículo, ¿verdad? El, la, los, etcétera, etcétera. Ok. Ok. Good. Any other question, class? Do you have any extra question? We have no time. Question. No question. We no have... question. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. So we finish this here, right? Do you want that I send this uh, PowerPoint? Quieren que les envíe este PowerPoint más tarde? Oh, no, no. Yes, yes please. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, yes, teacher. verdad que yes. no lo necesito. No. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Huh? yes. <laughs> Please, okay. please. Good. Solo a los barcelonistas se lo pueden enviar. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. To everybody. Oh, right? Vaya pues. Oh, oh, who say loser? <laughs> Thank you. He's just kidding. <laughs> okay, pero al menos le vamos a la alianza, ¿verdad? Al vos. No, my ah. hair is white. Okay. Look, I'm checking, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform. I will share the platform with you. And then we're going to practice, right? Let me see the platform here, right? Good. Section number three, right? Section number three. How much is it? Eh, antes que se me olvide, comercial, esta semana tenemos clases hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, y el viernes vamos a hacer este examen, el midterm exam, right? Midterm exam. Aquí le falta una M, pero es midterm. Eh, y a este momento ya tienen que haber terminado la sección 2. Sección 1 y sección 2. Si aún no lo han hecho, recuérdense que todavía pueden mandar sus preguntas al WhatsApp. Ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Pero ahora vamos a comenzar la sección 3 ya, ¿ok? Good. And to start, we're going to practice the conversation that we already practiced before, right? Like que practicamos antes. So, listen, please, and watch. Okay. They are perfect for you. Perfect for you. These red... 
Hi, we're now in sec. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Ooh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Now listen again and repeat, please. Needed. I recommend for you to... In this lesson, participants will while shopping. Repeat, please, repeat. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Yeah, they're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Good. Any extra question? Any extra question about the conversation? Okay, now let's go to the video, right? Uh, no, no? Okay, good. Demonstratives one and one, right? Demonstrative this, that, these, and those, and the pronouns one and ones, right? Now pay attention. This, these, that, those to express possible choice. This lesson participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. 
For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or once always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. By the end of this lesson. Okay, do you have questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Por qué en, el, en la parte donde usan el those no le colocan el ones? Ah, ok, vamos a verlo, permito. Let me check it, right? Ok. Vamos a ver. Um, en esta parte, Selena, this part. Yes. Esta parte, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok, good. Uh, bueno, para comenzar estamos hablando de earrings, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando este, la persona está hablando, o puede ser que sepa usted de qué está hablando, puede ser que no, ¿verdad? En este caso, en la conversación, uh, ambas personas estaban viendo los, los aritos, ¿sí? Y es el contexto, ambas lo estaban viendo, entonces ambas sabían de qué estaban hablando. Entonces, yo puedo decir en inglés, How much are these earrings? ¿Cu ¿Cuánto valen est estos eh, uh, aritos? Pero también puedo decir, how much are these? ¿Cuánto valen estos? Como ellos lo están viendo, o sea, si usted ve la oración, obviamente no, y, y solo dice, how much, ¿cuánto valen estos? Y usted dice, bueno, ¿qué son estos? Y no estoy viendo de qué se trata. Pero eh, la persona ya sabe de qué está hablando, ¿ok? Igual con those, si están lejos, esto es cuando están cerca, pero cuando están lejos, those, entonces igual, those earrings, ¿verdad? Pero usted puede decir, eh, eh, those, ¿sí? Como ya sabe de que estamos hablando de earrings, puede omitir el nombre, ¿sí? Se puede omitir el nombre, ¿ok? Igual acá. es necesario colocar el one cuando es this and this? Ah, Perdón. ok. No, 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 no. Vaya, no, no. Eh, eh, es que vaya, aquí coinciden. Coinciden el this, that, those, eh, los demonstrativos, porque esos son demostrativos, ¿verdad? Y el one y el ones son pronombres. Los pronombres son la sustitución del nombre. Por ejemplo, en lugar de decir Selena, I say she. En lugar de decir Marvin Vázquez, I say he, right? Y hay ciertos pronombres. Eh, como en este caso one and ones que indican el número, ¿verdad? Otros son indefinidos como some, any, eh, etcétera, etcétera. ¿verdad? Y hay pronombres reflexivos como myself, yourself, etcétera, etcétera. Un montón de pronombres. Pero estos se refieren a cantidades. Por ejemplo, cuando yo hablo del necklace, se sabe que es uno, ¿sí? Entonces digo, what, which one? Pero no necesariamente está conectado con this and that. ¿Sí? Por lógica, ambos son singulares, ¿verdad? These, that son singulares y one es singular. Pero más que todo el one se usa para eh, cuando usted tiene opciones. Por ejemplo, ¿qué tipo de sorbete le gusta comer más? This one o that one. ¿Ah? Tiene una opción. O cuando ya se sabe de qué está hablando uno. ¿Sí? En ese caso se usa, pero no, no van necesariamente conectados. Es decir, no necesariamente me preguntan con dicen that, tengo que responder con one. No necesariamente. ¿Sí? Aquí, por cuestión de lógica, sí, estamos usándolo. Pero no siempre. ¿Ok? Ok. Y, eh, y, igual sucede en el, en el plural, ¿verdad? Once. Ya sabemos que estamos hablando de earrings y usamos la palabra once. Pero perfectamente, si usted no quiere usar, en lugar de usar one, usted usa el nombre. Which necklace, puede decir, ¿verdad? O aquí, which earrings, perfectamente los puede decir, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Ahí es, el lenguaje le deja una opción para que usted conteste lo que usted quiera, ¿verdad? No sé si más o menos le contesté su pregunta, Selena. Yes, sí. thanks. Ok, good. Now, any other question, class? No, no, no questions. Ok. No. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Now. Let's go to the 
eh, no le check. ¿verdad? Ahora vamos al, al laboratorio. No le check. Ya vimos cómo se usan this, that, those, and this. Ahora, one and ones. Y ahora vamos a ver cómo. Cómo lo utilizamos. Look. Here we have a picture with uh, um, two women. One is the clerk and one is the client or the customer, right? Uh, in your opinion, Marvin, uh, in this picture, which woman is the, the customer? The woman in green or the woman in purple, Marvin? The woman in green. Oh, the customer. The customer, yes. Uh, the it's uh, the woman uh, purple. Yes, because she's wearing a bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the, 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 the clerk or the employee never wears a... <laughs> A bag, right? So this is the, the the clerk and this is the customer or client, right? Good. And then we have another picture. The same woman, look, the same woman here and a man, right? So obviously the man is the customer, right? The, the client. Mm -hmm. Yes. Claire es como vendedor, pero también ben, se puede ocupar para especificar, por ejemplo, woman sales. Yeah, a saleswoman. A saleswoman. Saleswoman. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero también el clerk es un poco más general. No necesariamente tiene que ser en ventas. Ok. okay. Clerk ah, okay. puede ser, no sé, alguien que, que lo guía a usted en una, en una tienda o no sé, ¿verdad? Clerk es empleado, right? Clerk. Ok. O, o podría ser un recepcionista en un almacén, no sé. No se me ocurre, pero. Eh, Normalmente sí, el clerk es el, ven, el mismo vendedor de la, de la compañía, right? Okay, good. Now, but I need you pay attention to the product, right? We're talking about uh, jeans, jeans, I suppose there are jeans. And these are backpacks, right? Now, the woman is near and the man is far. Look, far, near, right? Okay, now, this is important because, listen, excuse me, how much... Jeans, are these, are those, or is those? To begin, let me tell you that jeans is plural. For plural, we use is or are. Jose, Jose Guadron. For are, teacher. Are, okay, good. Are. Ya tenemos la mitad de la respuesta, right? Good. Now, the jeans. Los jeans están cerca o están lejos? No me conteste. It's a rhetorical <laughs> question, right? Rhetorical question, right? Okay, so according to this, you're going to answer, right? No, letter B. Which ones, one or are? Remember I, what I say, right? Jeans is plural, right? Jeans is plural. So, you know what, what are you going to use? One or ones or are, right? No, the light blue. Todavía seguimos hablando de los jeans, ¿verdad? Y los jeans son plurales, ¿no? Oh? Ok. Oh. They, it, o we. Como son plurales, ¿cuál vamos a usar? Which one? Which one are we going to use? $59.95, right? Esto es para engañarnos. En realidad valen 60 dólares los jeans, ¿verdad? Algo así como los precios que, que teníamos en Black Friday, ¿verdad? Los mismos eran. <laughs> ok, now. Number two. I like that backpack over there. How much are, am, or is? So backpack is singular, right? Singular. Only one. And I say that. Because the man in the picture is far from the backpack, right? Far. So what is the correct option? Are, am, um, or is? And finally, number, ah, sorry, this one, right? The red one, the red are, or the red one? And finally, is 27.50, right? That's a nice price. But the green, The green ones, the green one, or the green is? 
because it's singular, you know. You know what to do, right? Good. Any question? About the knowledge check? It's okay, teacher. It's okay? Yes. Good. Yes, it's okay. Good. Next. Now, next. We're going to finish the class with exercise 3.6. Pronunciation, sentence thread, right? Eh, en español nosotros, uh, bueno, voy a hacer la pregunta en español. Um, let me see. ¿A quién le preguntamos? Let me see. Uh, a Gerson, vamos a preguntarle a Gerson. Gerson, eh, ¿todas las palabras en, en español tienen acento, sí o no? Es una pregunta difícil. ¿eh? Sí. sí. Todas tienen acento. <ríe> Todas tienen, cool. acento. todas tienen acento, pero no todas tienen tilde, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Llevan tilde. Correcto. No, no, no todos. O sea, ah, así, right? El acento, o sea, es la tilde es la indicación gráfica de dónde va el acento, ¿verdad? Pero todas llevan acento. En inglés es the same. All the words have acento. All we say, stress. Sentence stress, you know? Is where is the high pitch, donde va la más high pitch, la parte más alta de la entonación, ¿verdad? Ok, look, listen to the audio, please. And watch the audio, too. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Words in a sentence have more... Okay. Now, please, everybody, repeat after me. Excuse me. Excuse me. They're perfect. They're perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Good. Now we're going to practice one by one. Jose Guadarón, please. Only you. Only you. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher. Repeat, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, Grisel, they're perfect. They are perfect. Good. Only Grisel, only Grisel, please. Now, Ricardo, only Ricardo. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Excellent, very good. Anna, only you, Anna. They're not. They no, wait, wait, they wait, wait. wait, relax, Anna. Just a second. Listen, listen, and, and then you repeat. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Excellent. Very good. Now, Herson, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Now, Oscar, they're perfect. They're perfect. Now, listen. They're... They're perfect. Good, that's it, right? Lilian, I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Thank you, Michelle. No le hemos dado participación esta noche a Michelle. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> Hola. Eh, sí, le vamos, quizá la otra clase le vamos a hacer más preguntas a usted, Michelle, ¿ok? <laughs> ok. okay now, there... Para el examen. <laughs> ah, no, tampoco. Yes, el viernes, solo a usted le vamos a preguntar, Michelle. Ok. <laughs> Repeat, please. They're not very attractive. They're not very not attractive. Very attractive. Good. Now, ¿quién seguía? Se me perdí el orden. Eh, Selena, right? O Richard. ¿Quién seguía? Ricardo, right? Ricardo, excuse me. Excuse me. Good. Selena, they're perfect. They're perfect. Vanessa, I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Okie dokies. That's it, right? Notice the high pitch. And this is very important because when you speak, you're singing. 
Uh, when you speak Spanish, you're singing. When you speak English, you're singing. It's a song because it goes like, like this, like the, like the music, right? So you have to pronounce correctly, right? Good. French. French is only a, a music, right? El francés también es una música cuando, when you speak, right? Eh, le, le français parle le français, beaucoup parle le français. Okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> beaucoup parle, Ricardo? I only oh. can say bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> okay, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Good. So, oh, excuse me. Oh, mamma so, mia. Oh, no, that's Italian, Richard. <laughs> okay. Eh, la ragazza. Man... Listen, Richard. <laughs> La ragazza mangiare el gelato e mangiare la pasta e mangiare la pizza en la piazza della Novona o en la fontana della Trevi. Capito? Ok. Capici, capici. <laughs> ok, class. So, uh, I don't know if you have any extra question. Any question today? No, no question. No questions, ok? No so, today, uh, tomorrow we are going to finish section 3. And on Friday, we're going to make the test, right? Okay? Okay. Okay. Have a good night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow, the song. Tomorrow, oh. send the song. Okay. <laughs> we're going to sing a song. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>